better. <laughs> I promise. You start. Okay. Hey, what's up? My name is Brayden. And I'm Holly. And this is Summit. And that's our bus, Lola. Welcome to the inside of our bus. First and foremost, our favorite part and where we put our really big dog when we need him out of the way uh, is we made this platform. This comes down and then his bed right there lays perfectly on top. And this is also where he gets to people watch. He loves people watching. Uh, so this is his area uh, until we need to get out of the bus, obviously, which then we just move his bed and then we can all leave the bus. So this is the driver's side of our bus and this is half the kitchen. Um, one thing that we really wanted was a lot of counter space because in a bus it ends up being a desk, a kitchen area, uh, folding area, all of the above. So you, we wanted a lot of counter space. Um, we just did a little spice rack here just for the main ones we use and then for any extra spices um, just the ones i don't use on a daily basis we just put down here just slides on under there um, the cabinets are all refurbished um, and then we painted them and then did new knobs um, we definitely want to do something a little bold that we wouldn't normally do in like a, a large kitchen so we're like we have to go green for me it's really important that everything can be taken out and washed um, so all of our blinds can come off the dowel and then we can throw them in the washing machine um, again we wanted something bright we didn't want a dark bus we wanted it to be super beachy and bright everyone said that you would have a junk drawer and we're like no nah, we will we'll try not to have a junk drawer and then it turned into a junk drawer so that's, that happened. Um, and then just cutlery, uh, again, just extra kitchen stuff. And then plates and cups down here. We started out with a couple more cups, but we really, they just break. So we use our Yetis for pretty much everything. Um, and then on this side, we have, again, more counter space. I love counter space. Um, and right now we were gonna drop some burners into our um, cabinets, but we just ran out of time, or I mean our countertops, and we just ran out of time. So we're just using a Coleman stove. Um, it works great, to be honest. It's just no fuss. It just comes here, and then when we're not using it, we'll put the bamboo over the sink, and then we'll put it on top there. So again, this leaves it clear. Um, but my favorite part about the bus is our Dometic, because it works so well. And in all of our other buses and vans, it's just been a pain point of finding a really good fridge. And then it can also be a fridge, freezer, 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 fridge, fridge. Right now we just put it, this side used to be a fridge or a freezer. And now we just put it to both fridge until we have something we want to freeze. So we actually started with our first conversion was a Subaru Outback. <laughs> and it was just like really makeshift with a, an air mattress, a giant roof rack. We just can't stop. We really enjoy it. We've always loved it. And then just traveling around with all your stuff. Brayden was like, at first he's like, was kind of not against the idea, but not like really taking it seriously. I and then, needed to know the, like, the bus. Yeah, and because so then two weeks later, I'll just give you a fast forward, two weeks later, we were on our way buying a bus. Yeah. <laughs> so this is our very large sink. Um, we kind of, since we didn't do a bathroom with a shower, like a lot of uh, schoolie people have done, uh, we wanted something that we could wash our hair in. <laughs> it was just big enough. Um, so we went actually with a laundry sink from Costco. It's just so great to put things in, like even our dishes that we use on a regular basis, we'll just wash and just keep in there. So they're just easy to grab. Um, but yeah, love this setup. And then underneath is just a lot of storage. Like right now we have our heater down there and then just some cleaners and things like that. Um, but yeah, and then up top we have some storage. We left it pretty open. And a lot of the things that we have um, are products for our company. So this is just odds and ends up here. Uh, we haven't really filled it up. I feel like it's more where we put paper towel rolls. 
All right, guys, so this is my favorite part of the bus. Uh, one of the main inspirations for me uh, in building this conversion was being able to take my music studio um, and office where I spend most of my time, whether it's for our um, dog business or just because it's my pastime, um, and Holly and I both record music together. So this right here is everything I need to take a song from nothing uh, all the way through to being mastered and being finished. Uh, so it's all sort of built into here as well as underneath. Uh, and then we also have uh, the ability to set it up as a standing desk where the computer is here and there's controls on this side and this side. And then we have a few mic options as well. Um, and then a few ways to soundproof it. But the main thing is we wanted to be able to uh, feel like we're basically inside and outside at the same time. So as you can see, we have this emergency exit and this one, and it creates this nice open feeling. Um, so when we are here and we're working really long hours all day and then going into waking music that night, um, you still feel like you got out, you still got that fresh air and that vitamin D and stuff. Um, and yeah, it's much better than being in a stuffy office or back home in when I would have to go to the industrial area all day and work and then come home and be in the condo. So kind of the best of, best options there. So underneath here we have um, tons of extra just like electronics and plugins and stuff, a couple of books and that sort of thing. Um, and then we do have a spot in the bus that is hidden where we uh, tuck away all our valuables and stuff anytime that we do leave it. Um, and I'm not going to tell you where that one is, uh, but that was something else that was really, really important as well. Up above we do have uh, monitoring speakers and they're just tucked in for driving right now, but they both pull out um, so that when you're at the standing studio you can monitor left and right as well. Something that I thought was really cool, um, this is actually Holly's idea, is uh, all of the edges here are done with cork. Um, obviously, because it's nice, you're not gonna bump or anything. Finishes it nicely, and these are all memories for us. So these are all champagne corks um, that we've popped over the last, coming up on nine years together. Um, and yeah, so in here along the side, there's even one, we, we've written the dates on a few. So we're here in Tofino right now, and we have one of our celebratory January 19th Tofino corks. So I love seeing these when I'm making music, when I'm in the studio, because it inspires me in um, some of our life schemes and dreams and stuff. So yeah, that's the studio. Of all the memories I have with my dad, some of the best ones I've ever had were doing those other conversions. Um, mm -hmm. And he was really helpful in teaching me in like the first few, even just getting me to understand what I was doing, where I was able to do the rest of them and a lot of them. And the main ones that we did together are like my fondest memories with my dad. So when we got the I bus, I still remember. Yeah. We called him, and I remember just being like, "Dad, I got our next project, man. You're gonna love this." <laughs> and he was like, "He's like, it's golf season, yeah. man." <laughs> and, it's, and you could hear he's like, "What did you sign me up for? I didn't say I was converting this thing with you." All right. So behind the kitchen area, uh, we have our couch, our L-shaped couch, we call it. Um, this is such a great spot uh, because the way we designed it, we wanted it like to enjoy our emergency exits because they open up all the way. Um, so it's awesome because again, you can just experience wherever you park. So we're at Long Beach and it's gorgeous outside. Um, so you can fully just enjoy that. And then the airflow when you have both emergency exits open is just wonderful when it's hot outside. Um, but the L shape, we wanted to keep it pretty simple. We actually had some, um, we actually got free foam and we made cushions, but things just get so dirty on the road. If you can't remove uh, the tops and the fabrics to wash them, they just get very dirty, especially with a big dog. So we just use a blanket, we can throw it in the wash, um, just keeping things extra simple. Um, behind here actually goes to the back of the bus. Um, we were gonna put a latch on this or something like that, but we wanted it to be a space where, we actually call it our front hall closet. So we just want to be able to put like jackets, an extra towel, fans, uh, we have a sage in there, um, and just a couple odds and ends, just things you'd have in a front hall closet. Um, and we put this big pillow there, so it's really easy to grab things. Um, and then just cover it with a pillow. Um, now underneath we have all of our products. So we really don't have a ton of like personal items. We've been actually pretty minimalistic that way. So a lot of our storage is for the company. Uh, so basically there are like over 200 of these uh, dog leashes stacked up uh, underneath, which is awesome. <laughs> hey bud. Um, and then for clothing, this was always something that was a little tricky in previous builds. We've tried drawers and everything, but we found the easiest thing to do is just have your clothes easily accessible. 
um, and we have just laundry bu uh, buckets. So nothing gets stuffy in the summer because there's holes um, and it just works great. It's simple, but it works really well. So next to our L-shaped lounge area is the bathroom. Um, now my husband laughs because he always, in previous builds, I never had like an area to get ready. Um, so I was like, you know what? Let's try to let's try to fit in a bathroom. And we did it actually. It was a little tricky the design. We had to do it over the wheel well. So, and we needed to make it so he could also get in when he needs to use it. So, and he's kind of he needs that extra knee space. For me, I'm small, so it's really not a huge problem. But uh, we designed it really well. So we have hooks underneath, and we got all these little bags from IKEA. And to be honest, they are so awesome. We have two hanging baskets here, again, just full of bathroom stuff. Um, we did decide to do a compostable toilet. We were gonna go with a nature set, but to be completely honest, that is a lot of money for a toilet. And I just think for what it is. We decided to go the DIY route, um, which was great. We just got the seat uh, diverter. We're not using it at the moment just because where we're staying right now has a great bathroom and shower setup, um, but it's really easy to use um, and it works really well for us. Uh, I do think the size is great for the bathroom because I usually put like a pillow or this uh, rug thing over top and then I just get ready from here. Um, we wanted a nice big mirror. Um, and it actually makes it really bright in here because it will reflect so I can even see what's going on over there. Um, and yeah, we have our, our toothbrush set up here and everything wires underneath to this outlet. Uh, Brayden and his dad, when they were making, uh, like doing all the wiring, they're like, oh, you need an outlet for a toothbrush, curling iron. Like, so I got outlet heaven. I can charge a phone, use a curling iron. I got all the power. <laughs> um, and yeah, we got a window in here, uh, just extra airflow when we're driving. It's nice to have that down too. And then for privacy, we were gonna try to do like a, a rolling door of sorts, but again, we just thought simple is better. So we got this blind and you can just close it and it works really well. <laughs> So this is the bed area. Um, I am someone who likes the bed area to be clean, always made. I don't know, it's just my domain. My husband loves it. He said one reason or like one upside of getting married was that his sleeping situation is so much nicer than it used to be. Usually it smells like lavender. I like to be a little extra. Um, but yeah, this is great. We wanted a full queen because um, Brayden needs to be able, like in our previous sprinter, he had to kind of sleep diagonally and that didn't really work for me. So we wanted to fit a full queen in. Um, we have swapped out our mattresses since being in the bus. We had our previous queen, just a Costco mattress. It sat a lot higher. So I couldn't actually sit like it it actually did push me, so I kind of had to hunch over a little bit. And we didn't want that, so we got a thinner mattress, um, and we love it. It just really opened up the space. We have some storage up in this section here, and then we have a little bit of storage back here, so just hoodies, some towels, um, and some books. And then, yeah, I call this the daybed setup. Um, so usually, like when we're chilling, it's kind of nice for someone to be sitting up here, someone to be sitting there. So I put the pillows this way, but when it's time to go to bed or watch a movie, uh, we'll get our food tray because we love eating in bed. <laughs> I don't know if I should say that. <laughs> um, we like watching TV and eating in bed. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Let me just one second. Okay. Yeah, so this is the day bed setup, but when we're ready to go to bed, uh, we sleep with our heads this way um, because we have this mirror over here. It just makes the space a lot bigger um, and we're all about keeping it super bright. So we love our white blinds. And when the sun comes in and you kind of want that privacy, it still allows the sun through uh, without anybody being able to creep in your bus. Running a business is slightly harder because mm -hmm. we would like to have an office and space. I'm used to having, yeah. even like in my other position, I had employees that we were able to work with and we had a spot to organize, keep things. I love whiteboards, big whiteboards. Yeah. So the Running general a company in a bus isn't as glamorous that's hard, as yeah. you, like people kind of, I'm working on the road. It's like, all right, your notebook you work, is getting splattered by the spaghetti that you're yeah. cooking for lunch, and then this is getting, the, like, it's just yeah. a lot. 
So this is Lola. Lola is a 2009 Thomas C2 safety liner. Uh, she's got a Cummins diesel engine with an Allison transmission. Uh, and uh, honestly, I have to give a shout out to Pave to Pines. Uh, Mitch over, over there, they really helped us out because he kind of told me what specs to look for. And this was the gem in the rough. Uh, it had everything we were looking for, which was Freightliner make, and then the Cummins and the Allison, and hopefully a Thomas. Uh, I'm six, about 6'6", six, six, and I can stand up with uh, a lot of headspace. And that's rare for schoolies. Some people have to do the chop, and I'm glad we didn't have to. Um, in terms of what we've done, we've obviously left her bright yellow. We talked about painting it, but uh, we have a few other things going on right now. So it's a little bit lower on the priority list. So we're just keeping it uh, original schoolie to really get the whole feeling of it. Um, now, a main thing was really just utility. Uh, so we have two big water tanks underneath. Both of them are 20 gallon. Uh, one's gray and then one's uh, fresh, obviously. So this is our fill tank here. here. On the top, we've done solar and we also have a big battery bank in the back. We have 390 watt uh, solar panels and they're from Go Power. So at the back of the bus, uh, we wanted to have a nice big garage space. We have a lot of toys, whether that's bikes, boards, skateboards, surfboards, um, all that stuff. And then I also have a lot of tools. The bus isn't actually completely done. There's quite a few things I still want to do. So I've been hauling around some extra uh, lumber and all the tools I need to do that um, so from basically from the ground up. Um, and uh, yeah, even for the mechanics of the bus and stuff too. So in here, I've got my bike. I've got uh, both of Holly's and my skateboards. We've got a uh, Sabrosa rail, which is just basically a rail we can set up anywhere if we don't have a place to go ride. Um, we usually have our surfboards and stuff in here too, but the place we're staying has a spot where we're storing them. So uh, yeah, but nice and open. I have the ability to crawl in here um, and uh, I've got lights that are meant to be installed. Uh, but honestly, it's been really, really simple with the way it is. So we've kind of left it. And uh, yeah. We always also come yeah, with crazy we've, news. We've had like, like, we're those people in the family. We've had similar conversations at the dinner table. We're like, we're, we're doing this. No we're doing longer that. going to school and we're starting this business. We <laughs> sold the business. We are going to move out here. We're going to try this or try that. And uh, so I don't know if they were shocked, more like, oh my goodness, like this, you guys. Like, oh yeah, they we... just kind of laugh now, I think.